His crucifix established Sutherland as the preeminent modern British religious painter. It is all but inevitable in 1952 that he should be invited by the architect of Coventry's new cathedral, Basil Spence, to design a huge tapestry to fill the space behind the altar. Sutherland worked for over 10 years on the tapestry, which was woven in France by specialist weavers of the largest room in Europe. When finished in 1962, it weighed three quarters of a ton and was the largest tapestry in the world. It was a great technical achievement. It's a perfect example of a curate's egg. Good in parts. Yeah. Christ. I don't know what the fuck this stuff's telling me. As it is, Can you sit on the bed? No. Alright. You're just taking it. Ten minutes ago. Yeah, he's kicking in now. This stuff's bloody weird. It's the true sound of the coming out. It's an ability to deal with people. Really, 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 and then, the poor reception of the tapestry, coupled with the major change in the British art scene, started a disaster for some of them. By 1962, the shadow princes and banalities of pop art swept aside the high seriousness of those more British paintings. It's good fun, though. Absolutely. It makes a change for you to be with me when you do it. Young Hopkins was already on the scene, and the world was weary of everything Solomon would present him. Unknown. Solomon retreated with his wife Kathy to the south of France, but for 15 years he spent there really, really Solomon weird. Gordon. Mm. These visits had been oh, the uh -huh. in his work. It was as though the life of really? fine wine and rich Well, I know this is really weird, but you're not so out of control as you were. His visionary quality, oh. the ability in, to in terms of when you're out of it, you're out of it. The universe was lost. And of course, if you start and suddenly start marching off in your direction, you oh, yeah, but I, I kind of prefer that. Yeah. Uh, 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 although, although, on the time. No, no, it takes a while. It's a difficult to get at this height. I think that needs the picture of the artwork to go down. It's, it's got that sort of um, innovation in it. The head is wonderful. It looks like. Sounds like Brian Shuley in the background. Prehistoric is. Uh, yeah, it's this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, enormous, enormous tongue. It's a pipe. Snatch and Seriously, you don't need any of this, any drugs. Mm -hmm. To get, I mean, you just need receiving. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, tends to describe him as this. I think I'll start. Creature, which is now some uh, rumours. Uh, not like all. Really weird. Right. And that's something that I you think comes through here. I sort of, sort of like, sort of like, like quality. Spinning now. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Right. Well, it's not, it's not spinning so much, it's sort of doing that. But when you get down to body, he goes up against four pieces. He has no idea of the structure of the human body. He can't deal with the pelvis. He doesn't know where it is. So if you don't, if you don't know what the pelvis is doing, you can't really get the spine right, and you don't get the legs right. But, um, um, he's made a valid attempt. It's weird that the a drug coming over the is right, supposed to the right is stop the seizures. But it's, 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 it's causing the seizures. Color. 
quality. Yes, possibly. Maybe modifying them. Just certainly. not hitting well, the right note. Well, so, uh, yeah, it's modifying them. But I used to have uh, as the letter that's too sharp. I hate this part of it because he starts dissing the grain of southern side. Mm -hmm. so, um, oh, that's all right. We'll it's pretty worry about that later. Southern well, Southern Cross become I used to have them every couple of weeks. Now it's every week. It was so it's kind of doing. Not that it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. The burdens of responsibility. More than Winston. I mean, I, I mean a drug, it's, that's kind of weird. Then you put a drug, I mean, that was obviously a seizure. He was the because choice, the living British memory over there, for the greatest living British and I started to write something. Most of the sittings took place here, and judges I forgot that I was writing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, how the hell is a drug that's supposed to stop? This in the vein of his ancestor, Duke of Well, I'm not really changing the drug regime again. I mean, I'm, I'm not even taking as much as I'm... The familiar Churchill, the man they always saw in the clothes they Theoretically, the doctors think I'm taking. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I can't take it off. The disparity between Churchill's expectations and those of Parliament I mean, I, I, I don't know whether that was the effects of the drug. Well, I think it's a combination of factors, isn't it? But I don't think it's controlling the seizures as well as before. I don't know, sir. And you'd have to try the new drug regime and see if that makes a difference. Well, well, it's not a new drug regime, it's just to take them off the drug. Yeah, but they could be on something else instead. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah, but although they put them in a... How did it take one nowadays, he asked. Sitting on the number was his despairing answer. He hated it. And he felt he had... I hate his part as well. Mm -hmm. They, they... But, I mean, it's such a... Decent image of Churchill. No mm -hmm. Exactly, and they destroyed it. I mean, that's just. The yeah, but Churchill didn't like it, did he? No. Yeah. I think it was more Churchill's decision than yeah, yeah. Brian's. I, 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 yeah, but I hate the, this part of the documentary because I think that's a fantastic piece of painting. Mm -hmm. Fantastic piece of modern art. Mm -hmm. And it is just, I mean, you can't diss that painting. Right. Okay. I think you've come round right now, son, sufficiently. Take it easy for the next half an hour or so. Give me a shout if you need anything. I should have had that at the gap this evening. Uh, yeah, it, it might be an interesting piece of installation art, but I, I would uh, rather you didn't. Touches of red set the flesh alive. Touches of green in the okay. light of red. If you need anything, you need to show. knows what happens when you put red and green within the same context. They excite each other. <coughs> the head itself is painted thickly with attention. Paint coming up from the brush with precision. Yes, sir. Christ, I'm filling it up. <laughs> so, seriously. The detailed description. Well, I'm up there.
hundred years ago, the painter of these images was once held to be one of the greatest and most inventive English artists of the 20th century. In the 1940s and 50s, he was a household name, commissioned to produce Britain's most prestigious public artworks. Today, Yeah. Yeah. There, go. <coughs> there. Yeah. Did you say something? Yeah, I was just letting you know you'll be pleased to know. It's, it's not like wet on the ground, is it, either? Well, it's in the air. But it's only little tiny bits. Yeah, but what I mean, it's not wet on the ground. That's what I mean. Well, yeah, I mean, it did suddenly start snowing in the day. Yeah! <laughs> now, th that's what I was worried about. I didn't want it to be wet on the ground and then it wouldn't lay. <laughs> that's why I was d d worried. Because yeah. we're going to have a snowball fight then on the way to the gallery. Say again? I said we're going to have like, a snowball fight then on the way to the gallery. It's uh, all back to snow tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, the more the better. Yeah. It was weird then, Dad. I went onto my computer again. Yeah. And I felt like it was happening again. I was off the computer for a while. Well, I think it's Brian Shaw. I mean, it's all this one. <laughs> I should write into the guy and say, you're causing my bloody seizure. Okay. I should write to him and say, you're causing me to have seizures, mate. <laughs> I think there's probably lots of people called, he's called apoplexy too over the years. Oh, of course, I was watching, listening to what he was saying about Anish Kapoor last night. Mm -hmm. In his book, that's bloody hilarious. The only problem with this book, though, is it's causing me to immediately question my own work. Uh, no, it would be intriguing to get his opinion, if you see what I mean. It would be intriguing to get a lot of different critics' opinions. Of course it is. I mean, I saw other people who are very for Anish Kapoor's show. I thought it was very interesting. He comes along and says, this is crap. But there will be a, a lot of drawn together tonight, there's quite a lot of artists in it, and quite big artists, I mean you've got David Hockney, things like that, it's like preparatory work, uh -huh. but I'm hoping that there's Southern has worked it, because I mean, they've got that huge painting in Southern, and they've got, they've got quite a lot, I mean, they're about the only gallery that I know who's actually put his work uh, well, on, on the front of uh, their, what do we call it? Uh, yeah, that sort of thing. So I'm loving this central gallery more and more. But 
Nobody else puts up his work. 